was always fumbles. How's it going, comrades? This is Wes, aka Dr. Fumbles, here with another reaction. Um, I did remember saying, I believe, in my last video of Cobra Kai that we're, I'm just going to be doing um, just reacting to some trailers this week because I want to catch up on a lot of these trailers that I've um, that put on my list. And frankly, it's actually some stuff that I actually really wanted to watch, to be honest. So I was like, take the week to react to um all these trailers. Um, so I will be reacting to the trailers. Um today tomorrow and friday however next week though i will be going back to my you know regular schedule which would be me reacting to um tower of god on wednesday cobra kai on thursday and then my the trailers on friday and i'll probably say this again during the next two days to make sure everyone knows um also as for this right here this is the uh, the format so far that i, I like um, so this is the format that I'm choosing to go with, but it's not set in stone because I'm still waiting on your guys' decision. Um, again, like I said, I do pre-record my videos, so right now, uh, Cobra Kai isn't really up yet. Um, but I mean, once if you're watching it, then it will be up. So just keep in mind that, like you know, if you're commenting on on Cobra Kai saying we like you like a certain format and this video doesn't reflect that format. It doesn't mean I'm ignoring you or anything. It's just that this video had already been recorded before you already chose, before you, I got an answer from you guys, if that makes sense, all right? But um, right now, um, this is the uh, format that I like the, that I, I'm leaning towards. So I guess just let me, just still let me know your thoughts on it, all right? But all right, guys, what are we reacting to? So the trailers are we going to be reacting to um, is um, Enola Holmes. Which is um, supposed to be a Netflix original. I think it's a series or a movie. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see in a second. Um, an animated, I think, Pixar movie. I think it's Rhea, The Last Dragon Will or something like that. I, I, I gotta see it. I think it's called Rhea something. Hold on. Rhea and The Last Dragon. That's what it's called. And then the last one is something I'm super excited for. Is um, It's called Red Line Ronin and a Seven Deadly Swords. Now, well... For those of you who don't, well, you know what? We'll talk about that a little bit um, once we get to it, all right? Um, and yeah, you'll know why I'm a little bit excited for it, which, I mean, if you guys do watch um, Tyrone Magnus' um, channel, you probably already know. <clears throat> but, all right, so this one. Um, Enola Holmes. Um, now, I don't know much about it. Just aside from the fact that I know Enola Holmes, obviously she's supposed to be um, Sherlock Holmes' daughter. I'm at least I'm assuming that because Enola Holmes, you know, uh, I know they also got the um, chick who played um, as Eleven and Stranger Things as um, as Enola. Um, <clears throat> now the thing is, I've actually heard some things about this whole series as a well, not not, not even just the series, just really her in general playing this role now i don't know what what's going on per se but i know and maybe you guys can expand on this but apparently she is what we call a cutie which i don't know what that particular what that what that is like what that refers to um but they say that like now netflix is flooded with them or something i, I don't i don't i, I don't under, quite understand but I know a lot of people were also getting troubled by the fact that I guess apparently that she's at a certain age, but they're having her take on more mature roles or something of that nature. I don't know. I, I guess I have to read a little bit more into it, but that's just some things I've heard. And I, they say that that was actually reflected in this this movie or series. So I don't know. I guess I'll, once I check out the trailer, I can see for myself. I don't know how old is she, to be honest. I think she, she like was. I mean, she looks about like she might be about sixteen, seventeen, around that age range. I'm guessing. Let me know, guys. But you know what? Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this trailer. And you know, let me turn this down a little bit because it might be a little bit loud. Yep. Come now, on. where to begin? My mother named me Enola. Which backwards spells alone. Oh, does it? And yet, we were always together. 
Oh, she played in Harry Potter. She was my whole world. Which leads me onto the second thing you need to know. A week ago, I awoke. Mother? To find that my mother was missing, and she did not return. I'm presently on the way to collect my brothers, Mycroft and Sherlock. Yes, Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes. The famous detective, my genius brother. He will have all the answers. And Nola. Where's your hat and your gloves? Well, I have a hat. Just makes my head itch. And I have no gloves. My God. A wild <laughs> woman brought up a wild child. Who will make her acceptable for society? She seems intelligent. There are two paths you can take, Enola. Yours, or the path others choose for you. It is time to find my mother. The game is afoot. <laughs> if I have to stay hidden from my brothers, I must become something unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> a lady. <laughs> You've progressed nicely. Is she safe? She's our company. I'm Viscount Tewksbury. A useless boy. <laughs> you have to help me. I'm not ready to die on a train. I'm not ready to die at all, and I wasn't going to before I met you. What are you planning, Mother? Hmm. She always had a reason for everything. Way of doing things. Perhaps she wants to change the world. Perhaps it's a world that needs changing. Uh, come on! Unlike most well bred ladies, I was never taught to embroider. I was taught to watch and listen. I was taught to fight. I'm coming to find you, Mother. You don't know how to embroider? What does that even mean? Embroider. What does that mean? Okay, that wasn't too bad of a trailer. Um, I wanna is this out yet? Thing is, I I will put it this way. I mean, if it's a series, I mean if if it's a series, I mean I probably would want them watching it because it does look it does look pretty good, but like as far as something I wouldn't watch anytime soon. However, if it's a movie, then yeah, I'll definitely I'm trying to watch it ASAP. I'm not sure if I'm making sense to you guys. Basically, what I'm saying is, if if it's a, I don't think it will be a good series. If you know, I at least in my opinion, but I do think this will make a really good movie. It will definitely be an entertaining movie for sure. Well, okay, so so she's not basically Sherlock Holmes' uh, daughter. She's his sister. And so apparently she, her mom disappeared, and so she's um so she I think she's tracked down her brothers to try to help find her. But I guess apparently she realized that she, I guess what they're restricting her, I guess, and so she decides to do it by herself. And now they're trying to find her <laughs> to get her out to keep her out of trouble. But she's you know being a scamp and just running around solving mysteries. I guess I don't know. But I mean, it looks entertaining. You know, I get. I kind of low key get uh, Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events vibes from it. Which, man, I love I love that um series. Um, The the Netflix series, the movie was pretty good too, but man, the, the series on Netflix, oh man. If you haven't seen a Lemony Snicket's Series of Unfortunate Events, it's it's good. Go watch it. it, it it's, it's good. I get, I get kind of those vibes from it though, you know? But still, with that being said, man, like, if this is a series, I will probably when I'm catching it, but. Probably not anytime soon, but if it's a movie, I'll definitely catch it, it like as soon as it's out. Um, I guess because I know this show has been out for a while, so I guess I gotta see if it's out already. It might be, but I guess um, let me know your thoughts on this one, guys. So this one is called Rhea and the Last Dragon. Um, and it's a Disney movie. I thought it was Pixar, which I think isn't Pixar Disney. Don't know much about it at all. I actually don't know legit nothing. Um, I keep I try to keep myself blind. Um, in terms of um these trailers, so I can have fresh reactions. So I try to steer clear of a lot of stuff. Um, I guess I do know it's coming out next year, twenty twenty one. I'm gonna be honest. I, I'm especially because after this shit storm of a year, I am actually excited for um next year. I really do think next year is gonna be uh twenty twenty one 
It's going to be buried in 2020. Um, we got a lot of good stuff coming out, a lot of good movies coming out, a lot of good stuff happening on next year. So I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, that 2021 doesn't disappoint, you know? But you know what, guys? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get into it. It's Disney, so can't be can't be too bad. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Give me some shell. That's a, I got gotcha. you. That's adorable. <laughs> that's adorable. Who is she? A ninja? Moana and Frozen. I get Moana vibes from this. Let's go. My whole life, I trained to become a guardian of the Dragon Gem. But this world has changed. And its people are divided. Now, to restore peace, I must find the last dragon. My name is Raya. Raya and the last day. How did you get so You're big? You're a little too big for this, bud. Oh. Okay, that looks pretty good. Raya and the last dragon. I mean, cause I mean, I like both. I like Frozen and Moana. I like both those movies, so I think I'm gonna like this one too. That looks that looks pretty good. Um, obviously that's a movie, but that's definitely something that's not coming to Netflix. That's definitely something coming to theaters. But I guess we'll see. I um, mean, yeah, I I wonder how they're gonna do theaters, especially with this pandemic going on. So I don't know. I guess I guess the uh, um, unless they were doing the what they did before, what you know, Fandango at home. I don't know because I definitely want to see it. I definitely would like to see this. It it looks good. So she's basically part of a tribe, but it looks like they're divided. And I think what she's trying to find the last dragon to reunite the tribes. I think. I guess I gotta rewatch the trailer. I forgot already. But yeah, it looks good, man. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna get some songs. You know, some 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 song like I like a, like another you know Let It Go or uh, you no know, what was that song that Moana sung? Um. How far it goes, I believe. Is that what it was called? I can't remember what it was called, but I mean, it was, like both those songs were really good. So I wonder if we're gonna get like the next big Disney song. You know what I mean? That all the kids go crazy for. <laughs> I guess we'll see. All right, now this is the one I'm excited for, guys. Red Lion Roni and the Seven Deadly Swords, and I think this is like the third trailer. Now, I, can't, I apparently, if you guys don't know, um, first. Like you know, um, Tyrone Magnus, um, he's a uh, YouTuber. He reacts to a lot of stuff. If you ha if you're not subscribed to him, definitely go subscribe to him. He he's great. Like he his reactions are great, very entertaining. Um, both him and his girlfriend Scarlo, they both just um, they they're just vibrant on camera. You know, like they're they're very very entertaining to watch. <laughs> I love watching them. Um, but apparently. He, I think he's got, he's got on to a project where I believe, I don't know all the deets on it, but I think he's actually in this. Um, I think he voices it or something. I, I, I don't know. I know he's, 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 he's into it some kind of way. I'm not sure if he's worked on it or if he's in it. I guess I got to look a little bit more into it, but I do know that he's, um, he's got something to do with this project. And, um, I was just like, you know, I gotta, I, I gotta watch it, but I was like, you know what? 
you know, I'm a reactor, so why not react to it, you know? So, I don't know much about it at all. I don't know, like, like I don't know nothing about it. Um, aside from the fact that I know that he's got something to do with it. Don't even know what the story plot of it is. Um, The name sounds badass, though. Red Line Roni and the Seven Deadly Swords. <laughs> Dude, that sounds so good. <laughs> so, you know what? Let's go ahead and just watch it. Ten years after the world's end. Okay, yo, hold on. Let me time out. Is that is is that him right there? I gotta find out what is it that he's doing in in, in this in this movie or comic or whatever it is. It's animation. I gotta figure out what he's doing in there. Is he is is he is he a voiceover or did he work on something on the art or what? I I need to figure out what it is because that deep voice that sounds like him. <laughs> that sounds like him. But I, I could be wrong. But I mean, come on, like. This man has a has a very deep voice. Like a slumbering hero awakens with one goal. I think that's him. Revenge. Oh. Yo, that sword though. Yo, it's good. Oh, yes. You're like running the seven deadly swords. Studio Gotti. I'm gonna have to um subscribe to um whoever those people are. That looks really good, man. That animation looks so tight. I definitely gotta find out when that comes out. I guess I need to watch a little bit more of um, Tyrone's um, Magnus' videos to see when that comes out. I'm pretty sure he's advertising it and whatnot. Um, I definitely gotta see when it comes out because I definitely... It, it looks good. It looks like it's going to be on point. Um, This next video I'm reacting to is actually a, I guess, an extension of what I just watched. It's the Red Line, Roni, and Seven Deadly Swords opening. Opening, okay. So... I'm trying to see, is this going to be something like a, is this opening one? Meaning that there's probably more than one opening to this. So I got to figure out, like, I want to see if this is going to be um a series that they're working on or if it's a movie. Like I said, I don't really know much about it at all. So I guess let me know if you guys do know a bit more about it. But let's go ahead and check this uh, opening out. Hopefully I don't get copyright or anything. If I do it, I guess I can, I'll take it down. I should have asked a permission phrase, but I guess. Ten years after the world's end, <clears throat> a slumbering hero awakens with one goal. Okay. Revenge. Revenge. Yeah. I love his revenge. Revenge. <laughs> This is so good. This is so good. Yo, dude, look how all these characters look. They look so phenomenal. <laughs> Looks like we're getting some plot. Yo, man, this is going to be dope. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, let's go. 
Red Light Brew here at Timothy, Missouri. Starring Tyrone Magnus. Look at that. Jessica Moon. Music by Dead Light. Chris Boyle on See you if you're an animation from the back. Okay, so starring Tyrone Magnus, meaning he's in it. Okay, so I'm I'm assuming the um the intro where he's like you know revenge that 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 has to be him, right? That that that, that that's got to be him. I mean, like no one no one can go that deep in their voice like Tyrone can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's like another James Earl Jones, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's, the, that's the next Darth Vader voiceover right there. Get that wrong to do it. <laughs> Yo, this looks really good, man. I'll be surprised if this doesn't wind up being like a, you know, like a big thing. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is going to, once it like hits, I feel like it's going to hit hard. Um, I guess what I need to do is because i mean i'm not sure how, what this is i gotta look more into it because if it's like a series or something i guess i gotta get with um either tyrone or um i guess the people who made this 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 see because I, I do want to get the permission to see if, I, if i'm able to react to it because i mean i would definitely love to react to it i mean if i can't that's fine you know i, I don't want to push anybody's buttons or anything like that you know especially you know cause this was this was like a a, a very hard worked on project you know i ain't trying to steal views or anything like that from anybody so i'm like you know if they're, they're like no i'll play that's fine i'll just watch it myself i mean either way i'm watching if you believe that i'm definitely gonna watch it but i mean i would definitely i would definitely wouldn't mind reacting to this because this looks it looks it looks legit <laughs> it looks legit <laughs> but let me know what your guys thoughts are on this i mean um well first actually um because the plot it looks like so the plot so the sem the samurai, I guess from what he's saying in the intro, he's saying that it's been what ten years, and so the samurai, he as he woke up from his slumber to get revenge, and I guess we see like a picture of um of 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 this guy and he's got family. So I'm like, is this something dealing with like you know a uh, family got killed and you know. I'm a samurai seeking vengeance type deal, and like, I don't know what's up with the the chick, the um the girl that's in there, and the robot man. I'm like I mean, I'm like this whole plot, it has me intrigued. It really actually has me intrigued, and more importantly, it looks so good. You know, because you know you know how sometimes you'll be watching animation or whatever, and you, it may have a good plot, but you you get turned off by the animation, or maybe the animation is really good, but you get turned off, but you get turned off by the story. This looks best of both worlds. It looks like this animation is going to be great. And it looks like the story is going to be really good too. And and like it looks like they're going to have some pretty dope ass fight scenes as well. I'm, I'm excited for this. It, it looks it looks good. That's all I can really say about this. It looks really, really good. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on it. You know, let me know if you even heard of Tyrone Magnus. If which I'm I mean, he's got like over a million a million subscribers now, so if I'm sure you've like heard of him <laughs> by now. I mean, if you haven't, then definitely um I'll probably I'll link his um I'll probably put a link of his channel in the description. And I guess I guess I'll also link the um the original video of this too, so that way you guys can see the original video for yourselves. All right, because man, like yeah, definitely. I wonder if these guys have a Patreon as well, man, because whatever they need to get this up and going man like let's go because <laughs> this looks good <laughs> well yeah again let me know what you guys think about this um is this something that's catching your fancy because it's definitely catching mine but all right guys i think that's actually going to do it for this video um as a reminder guys just remember um this week i won't be doing um cobra kai or um tower of god um i would just be doing trailers so i can catch up on them so I'll be doing trailers tomorrow and Friday, okay? But don't worry, starting next week, I'll be back on my regular scheduled thing, and I will let you guys know this again starting tomorrow. But all right, guys, if you like what you saw, 
please give me a thumbs up. It does help me a tremendous amount. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe? I post every Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. And if you have any comments about the trailers I reacted to, or if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see me react to next, on whether it be trailer series or whatever, post them in the comments below and I will take a look at them. But until the next video, guys, I'm sending nothing but mad love. Stay awesome. Peace. Oh.